Well, I mean, clearly there's a lot of concern about the credibility of the process and um, a lot of talk about free, fair, and credible elections. Um, it's important to look at what the observers are saying. There were a number of international observer and domestic observer missions. Um, they seem to, in their preliminary uh, statements, they mm -hmm. use the word preliminary a lot after the Kenya election, yeah. uh, that, that things looked rather smooth. And, uh, you know, I think that there should be some calm there, that there were some international election experts who went and looked at this election and saw that things worked out fairly well. There were problems, um, but there are still, you know, some questions have to be answered. Um, but I don't, you know, I don't know if we can make a decision yet whether or not it's truly free, fair, and credible. We're going to have to wait and see. Talking about um, the international observer's uh, opinion, of course, you know as well as I do what happened in Kenya. Absolutely. Why did the international community, um, and in fact the other observers, get it wrong? Well, it's not that they got it wrong. I mean, listen, I was there on election day. We didn't observe, IRI didn't observe officially, but we were there with other observers, and we, and we saw a fairly smooth process. There weren't as many cues as in 2013. Uh, the machines worked. Mm -hmm. The technology for putting your fingerprint on and all of that type of stuff moved fairly quickly. What about uh, the server, which has not now been that's opened where, up to now? Now that's where we have problems, right? And uh, it's in the transmission of our results. And this has always been a problem in Kenya's elections. Voting day usually goes well. Mm. It's either what happens before or after. The uh, event. Where, where there are serious questions. And that's also where you find rigging. That's really where you're going to find serious problems. What, now, about, what about the murder? Uh, someone might, of course, say the assassination of uh, Chris Musando, the gentleman who happened to be the IT, um, pretty much IT manager of EBC. What about that? Yes, there have been a, there've been Initially, a great Initially, somebody team. suggested that it was a love triangle because they happened to kill this young lady and just threw her next to his body. Yes, there are always those games that are played. Uh, the reality is that um, it clearly sent a message to IEBC staff uh, to watch yourself. And uh, there was a great deal of fear amongst the staff and, and, and a need for security. We also saw in, in the court ruling that was about to take place right before the rerun election, the deputy chief justice's bodyguard is shot Correct. The night before, and then Correct. she doesn't want to leave her house. Correct. So these issues of fear certainly are out there. Um, it it, it is, a, is a problem in Kenya's elections. It's something that they have to deal with definitively. And, and you know, it's something that everyone has to be a part of, though. Uh, because it's, the, the thing is, even till today, we don't know what happened to Christmas Sunday. We so don't really, know what happened. These are some of the season. things that must be factored in some of this reporting, Absolutely. really. Because if you Absolutely. don't, then what have you, in fact, observed? Yeah. Because otherwise, frankly, is there in fact a role for international or foreign observers? There's definitely a role. Uh, so what an, role would that be? It's an important role to uh, provide uh, their perspective. I mean, a lot of organizations that do this do this in elections all around the world, hundreds of them uh, over a several year period. They see different models. They see different games that are played by mm. different stakeholders and they know what to look for. The problem, of course, is you're only looking at a snapshot in time. Mm. And that is a challenge, right? You, if you arrive on a few days before election and you leave a few days after, it is a challenge to have all of the information. But um, they do play a role in helping to give confidence, helping to uh, provide a third party eye to the process. And, and perhaps that's what uh, some will be looking at now to have some calm mm. about what's going on in Liberia to say, listen, these issues have been raised, but we've also seen from some observer reports that a lot of party agents didn't raise issues at the polls. So you have these party agent representatives at these mm -hmm. polling stations, but they're not saying those things there. Mm -hmm. They're waiting till several days after the election to say those things. I see. So there are some issues there that have to be discussed.